Hi, Mark Kohler here. Let's talk about tax breaks for contractors. Now, I wouldn't say there's a specific deduction or strategy that only contractors can take, but there's certainly some things they should be aware of. First of all, as a contractor, you're going to be generating what's called ordinary income, 1099s from all these vendors you're working for, and that's going to create what's called the self-employment tax, a big deal. So for all the contractors I work with, there's a point where we get them into an S corporation as soon as possible. If you're a contractor operating as a sole proprietor, you want to get a consultation with a CPA to see when the transition should be made to that of an S corporation. The next point is just in general, any good contractor should be writing off all sorts of extra expenses, such as cell phone, travel, dining, entertainment, making sure they're writing off their health insurance, maybe even getting their family on payroll, auto deductions, travel, there is so much. And the average contractor, no offense, may not be good at keeping good business records and tax strategies at the forefront of their planning. So get on a regular system, get a good bookkeeper or tax planner that can help you track these expenses and have a good bookkeeping system. It can save you thousands and thousands of dollars and help you be a more successful contractor. Oh.